Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyS2Root.com So today we're going to install the latest Resurrection uh, ICS ROM for your Galaxy S2 GTI 9100 It's supposed to be the best um, ICS ROM right now So let's go install it First you'll need to copy over four files I'll have links below um, You can copy it over to the SD card of your uh, Galaxy S2 or the internal storage and of course, before we begin, you have to have your phone rooted and uh, and also um, Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. If you don't know how, um, go to GalaxyS2Root.com and uh, um, click on the Galaxy S2 FAQ. That's the one for GTI 9100 series. Um, and click on how to root uh, your Galaxy S2. Um, and it will do both of those things. Anyway, first, um, copy over those four files. And then next we're going to boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery, hold down volume up, center button, and the power button. And hold it down until your phone resets and enters Clockwork Mod Recovery. You, probably, you guys probably know how to do this. Um, so, for those of you who know, you can, you don't have to watch this video. So, depending on which version of Clockwork Mod Recovery, um, the menus might be slightly different, but should be similar. Um, so, we'll do a wipe data factory reset first. Hit the center button. Say yes. And then, um, next we'll do uh, install zip from SD card. Choose it from SD card um, or internal SD card, depending on where you copied it. I think I actually put in my internal SD card. So I'm going to go to my internal SD card, go to my download folder. Um, so, first, you'll want to install the Resurrection V1.1 official remix ICS uh, blah blah dot zip. Those are the four files you should have copied over earlier. And I put it in my download folder. So, let's go install it. And uh, this will install, and uh, we should be all good to go. Um, the 1.1 has been out for a while. I haven't actually tried it. I've been so busy. Just I have too many phones. I can't. I can only you know I can only do so many videos, especially those rooting videos. Um, it's something I don't know how to do. It takes me all day to make a video. So those days I just lose a whole day. Well, yeah, that's how I see it, but. You know, I just I try to keep it fun. Otherwise, it's gonna be you know, it's gonna be more like work. I want to make it fun. You know, even if it's it's what I do for a living, I rather have this you know as a um, <laughs> something to have fun. I don't know. I, I'm trying to make my channel more interesting, and uh, you can skip all this if you don't care about what, <laughs> what I think. <laughs> That's fine. Um, but I just want to show you the whole thing because a lot of times people skip and then they don't see actually what's exactly going on especially for those of you new to Android um, it helps for me to keep the camera rolling you know and uh, there you go and then go back to choose zip from SD card or internal SD card depending on where you put the files to so I'm gonna go to my internal SD card and go to my download directory where I put all the four files Next, we're going to flash the G apps for Remix v1.1.zip. Say yes. And uh, that shouldn't take too long. And, we're gonna re and then we're going to redo the process and install the G apps fixer. Um, and uh, go to download. And say yes. All right, and the last file we're not gonna zi uh, flash it yet. Reboot first, and then once you reboot it all the way, and uh, log in or whatever, just skip the first setup thing, and uh, we can reboot back into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, flash the SMS fixer uh, with T9 Dialer. So that's the boot animation. Looks pretty cool. Um, wow. I was using 1.0 for a while there. Um, it's been working for me. Um, I've had little problems, but you know, not a huge deal. But this 1.1 should fix all your issues. 
I know some of you are having SMS. I never have SMS issues because I've actually ported my number to Google Voice. For those of you um, who, if you're in a country that supports Google Voice, port your number to Google Voice. It's so much better um, because I get all my SMS messages on my Google Voice. So as long as my internet works, I'm always getting my SMS messages. Um, and also I can check it even my, you know, if my phone's off, I can check it online. If I go to another country where, you know, I don't have a phone, if I have internet, I can check all my SMS messages, my voicemail. It just makes things easier. And uh, just port your main number to Google Voice, and you can, and then you can get a bunch of phones like me. And uh, every time somebody calls my main number, all of my phones ring. So I can bring any phone, you know, with me. And it's always gonna, you know, always, always got, um, I will always get uh, the call or the voice call, uh, voice hand. I mean, you can do it uh, with number not ported, but I find that um, the messages, they don't actually stay in the Google Voice. It's, it's a, a, just more complicated. Um, and it's also great, you know, no one can ever, um, you know, get rid of your number because it's always on Google Voice. If AT&T um, cancels your contract for some reason, you'll still have your number on Google Voice. So Google Voice is great. I think it's like one of the hidden uh, free services that nobody, you know, not a lot, of, not enough people use. If you have SMS, you know, I never have SMS uh, problems, you know. It's it's a lot better that way. And I don't know why people don't use Google Voice. It's, you know, makes things a lot easier. So, but this this will fix the SMS issues um, with the fix update. And I'll be back when this is done. I don't want to get too wordy here. So I'm back here. You can change the language if it's defaulted to something else. You can change the Korean um, uh, or English. I prefer English, actually. Here we go. Um, I don't have my SIM card inserted. Skip. Next. Oh, ah, never mind the four corners. Um, there we go. And uh, finish. All right. Once you get to the home screen, you're all good to go. Um, we're gonna get into Clockwork Mod Recovery again. You can actually probably just do this. Um, no, no, you can't do that. Hold down volume up, volume down, and the power button again. We're gonna get into Clockwork Mod Recovery. And I think this version 1.1 has Clockwork Mod Recovery. I'm not sure it should. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does, because the instructions say that um, to use Clockwork Mod Recovery after rebooting. There you go. It does. Ah, sorry, my screen's a little bit buggy. Hold on here. My screen's a, I don't know, I think something wrong with my screen. It's, I gotta fix it. But uh, install zip from SD card again. And then go to internal SD card or wherever you put it. Um, and I'm gonna go to download. And the SMS fix update after boot and also it gives you T9 dialer. Install this and reboot. And that's pretty much how you install the new version 1.1. Pretty much the same as the other one, just the uh, dialer, the SMS fixer. I'm not sure it makes a difference for me, but since I use Google Voice. Um, again, highly recommend Google Voice. And I'll be back when this is reboot. There's the boot animation again. And looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. And I'll be back when this is done. So it was updating the Google stuff, and it's booted up, and uh, should be all good to go. Anyway, that's how you install the Resurrection ICS uh, version 1.1, and. Uh, just hanging there because starting up for the first time don't worry about all those things um, it should work anyway try it out let me know what you think I'm um, sorry that's my screen flicker something's wrong with my screen it's not the ROM uh, yeah. if I press it in a certain region it will show up my, my Galaxy S2 is broken uh, I'll have to have a disassembly video soon um, on how to replace the screen. I'm not sure if it's my screen but, or the connector. I'm pretty sure it's 
something's wrong. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, hold on. Anyway, something's funky with my phone, um, but I'll get it eventually. But that's how you install the uh, the latest resurrection, and uh, I'll have a full review of this. Um, hopefully, my phone won't die. And uh, thanks you guys for support supporting my channel again. And if you have a Galaxy S2, don't forget to sign up for uh, my email list at galaxyS2root.com. Uh, we update you once or twice a week with ROM reviews, tips, and more. Um, and I don't share your email with anyone else. It's just for you and me. And uh, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button and uh, subscribe button if you have thanks. And share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And I'm going to get really high, folks. And see you all later. Stay high and drive.